Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. Today I'm going to be reviewing shoes from the brand Aquatalia. Over the past eight years, I've purchased five different pairs from the brand and I've worn them all a ton. If you're interested in hearing a whole lot more about the brand Aquatalia and their shoes, please stay tuned. I'm really excited to be sitting down and making this video. I have a few brands that I consider myself extremely brand loyal to, meaning that I will go to them first before considering other brands to see what they have. And Aquatalia is one of those brands. I live in the US in the state of Michigan. If you're at all familiar with it, it's completely surrounded by Great Lakes and it tends to rain a lot. We have very real weather, we have four seasons. I would say one of the primary characteristics of the weather here is that it is wet. It rains a lot, it snows a lot. This is relevant because one of the reasons I like this particular brand is that they are weatherproof. It's a bold claim that a brand makes, and I know when I first heard it, I was suspicious of it. But I have actually found that claim to hold true over the years, and that's one of the reasons why I love this brand. So I'm going to start with the very first pair of shoes I purchased from this brand back in the year 2014. So I'll start with my earliest purchase and go through to my most recent purchase. So this was my first purchase. I was in the market for an ankle boot, and I went to the Nordstrom at Mall of America. This is before I moved to Michigan, and that's a really great place to shop for shoes. There's a huge shoe department, and they have a huge range of things. So I knew I wanted to buy a pair of black ankle boots that I could wear to work in the winter months. And the sales associate at Nordstrom introduced me to this brand at this time. I had not heard of it before. And what he said was, these shoes were, he said, favored by Kate Middleton, and that they were 100% waterproof and weatherproof, but they were actually leather and real suede. I could not believe it. I had a hard time believing it. These shoes are made in Italy and the price point at the time was around $500. And I, I really looked at the shoes and I could see they were super high quality. I liked that they were made in Italy and the price point was just at that point where I thought like this might actually be true. And the way the sock was constructed inside, it just was unlike any other shoe I had seen and so I decided that I would give these a shot. I am here to tell you that I have worn these now through eight winter seasons eight winter seasons and I think they look fantastic. You can see a little bit smoothing down. This is a suede, it's a waterproof suede. And you can see that you know there's some evidence of wear here, which I think they're starting to look maybe a little bit worn. The heel at this point is showing normal wear, but that's the type of thing that I would bring to a shoe repair shop to spruce up for me. I love these shoes. During the winter months, especially when I worked every single day in an office, it was very common for me to wear a black dress with a blazer and some opaque black tights and these black booties. That was sort of my uniform. I like the suede and smooth leather detailing. I like the buckle. And honestly, the zipper on the side makes it so easy to get in and out of. So what about the claim that this is actually weatherproof? Folks, I'm here to tell you it actually turns out to be true. It rains here all the time. We don't really have a wet or dry season. It can rain at any time, especially in the cooler months, and the water can puddle. I have walked through more puddles in these boots than I could ever count over eight years. These have been worn to the office two or three days a week, basically for eight years through the worst weather conditions. These are by far one of the most practical pairs of shoes I have in my wardrobe. And I remember when I was purchasing these, feeling a little bit unsure about the price point given I had no experience or awareness of this brand. So even though these shoes were around $500 at the point of purchase, over the eight seasons that I've worn them, the cost per season would be about 60 bucks, between 60 and $70. I'm hoping that I can wear these booties for at least two more seasons. If I had to replace these shoes, I would go back to Aquatalia and look for whatever they were offering currently that fits the same sort of mold. Right now on their website, they have a couple of really cute options and it looks like the price point is still kind of in the same space. So the high-heeled suede booty is one of the most practical items in my closet. This next pair of shoes, I think, takes the crown. This is a low-heeled black ankle boot. In my mind, I consider these flats, but they do have about a one-inch heel. I wear them like they're flats, and I'll give you the 360. While this boot has a buckle here, this is really just for looks. You enter the boot by, by pulling apart the, the shoe. You can see there's a ribbing here. You can see it's constructed to be flexible and you can just open, you can kind of open the tongue and get your foot right in. You know, you just 
This is my second pair of shoes from Aquatalia. I was so totally impressed by the high-heeled booty that when my other flat pair of black ankle boots, flat pair of ankle boots, I had this really great pair of Donald Pliners that I wore absolutely into the ground. So when I was ready to replace those, Aquatalia was the first brand that I looked at because I was so impressed with these high-heeled ankle booties. So I honestly can't remember if I bought these in store. I think I might have bought these online and had them shipped to me. These were also made in Italy and I think the shoes were around $500. Now I have worn these shoes for I think now six seasons, six or seven. I haven't had them as long as the high heeled ones, but I've had them a long time. In the colder, wet months, you will find me on the weekends in a pair of jeans with a thin pair of smart wool socks and these running my errands. You can see the condition of the heel. I put the shoe through a lot of wear and honestly, after six years of extremely heavy use, this boot would look worse if it had been a lower quality shoe. I'm expecting to get at least two or three more seasons out of these. These will be in the batch of shoes that I bring to the shoe repair to have the heel protected and just generally to have them reconditioned. But I love these. The leather feels incredibly intact and sturdy. I've worn them in now to the point where they just fit my foot so beautifully. When I wear these, I feel put together and fashionable. That's part of the thing here. I didn't buy either one of these boots for the fashion first. It was 100% for the practicality and the quality first, but I do feel like both of these shoes offer just enough of that fashion edge that makes me feel like I'm not completely giving over my opportunity to have a put together look and a really comfortable, hyper practical pair of shoes. This style is no longer available, but on their website, they do have a couple of styles in this category. So if at some point I need to replace these, it looks like they're continuing to make shoes in this category, the low heeled black ankle boot. If you're enjoying this video so far, I invite you to like this video and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you may have seen me post these to my community page. I went to the symphony last Saturday and wore these. I've worn them again since then. This is a pair of black heeled sandals. I want you to get a good look at the actual heel itself. This is a tortoiseshell looking high shine heel. I absolutely love the heel detail. This is just enough detail to provide some interest, a little bit of that high fashion interest without making it into a novelty shoe. I like that the leather around the ankle is quite substantial. You can see it's also lined with more leather and then it's well stitched here. The buckle is a powder coated metal and matte and it's really nice and wide and easy to work. It's not too bitsy. There's a nice wide leather strap that holds my foot in without cutting into it in any way. These are also made in Italy, and I've worn these a ton. You can kind of see the bottom. These shoes have gotten a ton of wear. I think the sock of this shoe is also leather, and at the heel, they actually have a little bit of extra material there just to provide extra cushion. These are extremely comfortable. These sandals I've now had for four complete seasons. I'm just starting to wear them into now the beginning of their fifth season. I found these at Nordstrom Rack. So now at this point, I was already an Aquatalia fan. I loved these ankle booties and I didn't know they made sandals. I hadn't been looking for them. I was at the rack in the designer section and I found these in my size and I snapped these up. I don't remember how much I paid for them. It was probably about $150. I was in the designer section of the rack. I love these sandals. These are the kinds of sandals that I can wear out if I think I'm going to be walking. Like if you're gonna be in a downtown situation and you know you might park your car and have to walk a couple of blocks and then maybe after dinner you're gonna meet up with some friends for a cocktail or something like that. Maybe you're gonna walk a few more blocks enjoying the summer evening. These are foolproof for me. I know if I wear these shoes out, I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to have any problems with my feet throughout the course of the night. They're not going to ruin my night. This giant block heel manages to provide the comfort and stability of a block heel while subverting it in a way to make it still seem like it's fashionable. And this ankle strap is substantial enough to truly secure to my foot so I don't feel like my ankle is unstable. I would have paid full price for these, but I was lucky enough to score these at a Nordstrom rack for a significant discount. Love these. After the coup that was finding the pair of sandals at the Nordstrom rack, I then had that thrill that you get sometimes when you realize one of your favorite kind of pricey brands might be available to you at a lower price. So I returned to the rack at a different time and I found this pair of shoes. This is a very flat suede light brown slipper shoe. 
You can see this silhouette. It has actually quite a deep cut here, which I think gives it its fashion edge. It has a plastic kind of rubbery sole and it has a leather sock on the inside. These are also made in Italy. You can see it's suede and it's lined on the inside with leather and it has a little stitching. The reason why these are my least favorite is that I think they're showing the most wear. I think that I've had these since 2019. I remember at some point in 2019 wanting to get more flats to wear. I found myself during the work day having to hoof it around so much that I was getting tired of wearing fussy heels and I was looking for an ultra comfortable pair of flats that I could wear just to get myself around. Again, 100% practicality. So I found these and I thought, sure, yeah, you know, I do need a pair of light brown slipper shoes to wear um, under certain conditions. Here's the thing. In the end, I feel as though these have aged in a certain way that I no longer feel like they're useful for me during a work context. I feel like they're looking a little too beat up. I do still wear these with jeans on days where I can go without a sock. I don't really like how these look with a sock. If the weather is such that I can wear a pair of jeans and no socks and feel like a suede flat shoe is the right fit, then I will wear these. What I've just described in terms of weather conditions is pretty rare. I have found that these are really useful if I need to like do some quick errands, but it's too warm to wear the black, um, like low ankle booties. These can fill in for that, especially if I'm wearing a pair of blue jeans. I also very often wear black and dark gray denim, and so these don't really go with those either. I think if I hadn't been shopping at Nordstrom Rack, I would have purchased these probably in black, and I think I would have gotten a lot more wear out of these. So I would say in the end, this particular pair of shoes has you know, not wowed me the most, but I'm telling you, this is still a very high quality pair of shoes. I love that it has the leather sock inside. And although the suede is starting to look a little worn, the shoe itself still has a ton of life in it. And I expect to wear this shoe for many years to come still. Okay, finally, the most recent purchase I've made from Aquatalia was the Pasha. This is a pair of shoes that is currently available on their website. This is a black low-heeled suede pump. I bought these on the Saks app for full price. This is called the Pasha, and they do offer this on the website currently in a variety of colors. I love this shoe. I bought this after working from home for some time when I knew I was going to be returning to the office. After over a year of not wearing high heels, I wanted to go back to the office with a kinder, gentler shoe. So I looked for a low heel pair of shoes. This is the shape of the heel. You can see that it's very blocky and sturdy. The shoe itself is incredibly simple. It has a gently pointed toe, but it provides plenty of width for me, for my foot here. I feel like this shoe is so perfectly pared down to its elegant, essential nature that it's very, very easy to wear. This looks really great with a pair of straight black pants that go right to the ankle. That's something I wear a lot, like a simple shirt, a pair of very clean, straight pants, and a blazer for work. This would look good with a wider legged pair of pants that broke lower on the foot. I actually think this looks great with a skirt, especially in a work environment. I think this is a very appropriate heel. I feel like this is the most elegant essence of the sensible shoe. For a lot of years on TV and in movies, you would see people making fun of women for wearing sensible shoes. There'd be somebody who was getting on somebody's case about their fashion sense and condemning them for wearing a sensible shoe. As someone who has her fair share of fantastical, wild, whimsical shoes, you also need sensible shoes in your wardrobe and no one should make you feel bad for that. There's a time and a place for a pair of shoes like this and my life includes more moments that are right for this shoe than in some cases for a very high fashion moment or look. So I've been wearing these into work and I think they're fantastic. They're really comfortable. I was worried that the way the edge was finished was going to maybe irritate me. It's a little, it's fine and sturdy. I was worried that that might cut into my foot, but I have found that it does not. It's turned out to be a very well-made pair of shoes. I have been caught a few times in spring rain while wearing these shoes into work. It's really nice to know that my shoes aren't going to be ruined. I could easily spend the same amount on a different pair of shoes and ruin them in short order in the climate where I live. I have found that this brand is addressing a particular need that I have. I need shoes that I can wear outside my home that might actually interact with the very real weather conditions that exist for me. 
and still look great season after season after season. So for me, when I'm shopping for what I would consider to be my sensible shoes, I really leaned on this brand Aquatalia for my solutions because if I'm buying something that I know I'm gonna be wearing and wearing and wearing and wearing, they need to stand up to the weather. So there you have it, one of my favorite brands for super practical and I think pretty fashionable shoes. Have any of you ever tried shoes from this brand? If you have, please let me know. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well out there and I hope you all have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.